Welcome to Symantec's video tutorials for SSL certificates. Today we'll be looking at generating a CSR for Apache servers using the Symantec SSL Assistant tool. Before we begin, please note that you must have root level access to install and run the SSL Assistant tool. Also note that the tool is currently supporting the following Linux platforms. First, let's download the Symantec SSL Assistant tool for Apache. Using a web browser, please go to our support pages at semantic.com forward slash help. Click on the link for SSL certificate support and do a search for the article ID AR1749. Here you will find the link under step one, download Semantic SSL Assistant for Apache. Click on it and a compressed tar file will begin to download. Make sure that this tar file is placed directly on the server before extracting its contents. Mine was saved to the downloads directory. Let's extract the tar file now. Open a terminal window, then run the following command. tar hyphen xvf, then enter the path and file name sslassistant.tar. Press enter to run the command. Note that the contents are extracted to the directory that you ran the command in. Now run the SSL Assistant script. You will need root access to do so. In most cases and best security practices, you will not be able to log in directly to the server as a root user. Therefore, in this video, I will be using sudo to run the script under root access. Type sudo dot forward slash, then the path and file name sslassistant.sh. Type the letter Y to accept the license agreement. Use 1 for the generating CSR task. Type either RSA or DSA, depending which algorithm you wish to use. RSA is most commonly used, so I'll type this and press Enter to continue. Enter the fully qualified domain name you wish the SSL to secure, also known as the common name. Type the two-letter country code your company resides in with no spaces and no periods. Next, enter the state or province where your company resides in. Note that abbreviations are not accepted and you must completely spell out the state or province name. Here you will enter the city or locality. Now you will enter the legal business name that your company is registered as for the organization name. The organization unit field is optional. You can either enter an organizational unit name here or press enter to bypass this field. You will now enter a passphrase to protect the private key file. Note that the passphrase you create here cannot be retrieved nor reset at any time. As you begin to type the passphrase, you may notice that the cursor is not moving. Not to worry though, your entry is still being recognized so proceed in creating your passphrase. Repeat the passphrase you created to confirm and press enter to create the CSR. You will now be presented with the CSR that you can use for your SSL certificate enrollment. Note that you can retrieve the text file at the location where the CSR was written to, or you can copy and paste the CSR from here. That's it. Thank you for watching our tutorial videos. For further support and troubleshooting, please visit our support pages at semantic.com forward slash help.